Have you ever noticed that when you delete a file from a jump drive on your Mac, it's not fully deleted? We'll take this example right here. I have 103.3 megabytes available. Now let's look at one of these files, and this file is 40.6 megabytes. So I, when I delete this file, I should have roughly 143 megabytes available, right? Let's try. Command delete. And hey, oh, it's still at 103. Now, the reason this happens is because it is the, the file is still stored on your jump drive deep inside the folder architecture. It's um, volumes slash John Doe's jump drive slash dot trashes slash 503. Now you'll see this file is right here and it's still on jump drive taking up 40.6 megabytes of room. Okay. Now, I want to get rid of this file, and I can't just hit Command Delete, and I could hit Empty, but that's it's not convenient going to every single jump drive and typing in slash volume slash the name of the jump drive dot trashes slash 503. Now 503 is actually your user ID, so if you are the only user, it's probably 501. If you're the second user, it's 502, so on and so forth. So what I've done is I've written Apple script to delete these files for you. Now I'll show you how it works right now. First download the Apple script, links on the right hand side or it's inside the blog post if you're watching this from the blog. Uh, just go down, scroll down slightly and it says download link, click on that, download from mediafire.com. Unzip it and launch the application. Here's the application, it's going to ask you to choose a volume to clean up. We're going to clean up John Doe's jump drive, we'll say choose. And it says, are you sure you want to empty the trash in John Doe's dump drive? This action cannot be undone. We'll say, fine. And hey, look, that file's gone. You'll also notice that now we have 143.9 megabytes available. And I could just keep doing this. And then, you know, run it and so on and so forth. But the reason they do this, and this is really actually nice with Apple. The reason they do this is so that way I can undo a delete. Like, you know, a file I just deleted. Ta-da! It's back. Command Z. So, while it's convenient, and while it's kind of nice to have, it's also inconvenient that, like, I eject it and put it back in, and I still lose that 40.6 megabytes, or in this case, 16 megabytes. So, download the Apple script, unzip it, and run it, and you can clean up some of your jump drives. If you use this utility at all, then you might have noticed a little feature called Erase Free Space. We'll go there now. Disk Utility. And right here, John Doe's Jump Drive. And if we go to Erase, we can choose Erase Free Space. Unfortunately, this has no effect. So if you thought this might, which I did, I was like, oh, awesome, the button for this and everything. There isn't. So either you delete your home trash every time you want to del permanently delete a file off your jump drive, or you have to uh, use the little Apple script I showed you. Now alternatively, you could go to terminal and you could do rms-r, that's for directories. And then we'll just drag in our files we're gonna delete. Notice 143.9. Notice also there's a space between dash, r, and the cursor. And we'll just drag this in. It fills in our file paths, we hit return, and the two files are gone, and we have 233.7 megabytes available. So those are the several ways that you can do it. I think my way is hopefully the best way of doing it. I try making it that way. Uh, thank you for watching, and thanks for subscribing.